guys welcome back to my channel this is Ajira Alexis and today I will be showing you how to make clear lip gloss um I do want to mention that this lip gloss will be sold on my website so if you're interested in purchasing it my website link will be in the description box um I will show you guys what I'll be using I'll be using this TKB um lip gloss base I got this off of Amazon yes this is a small bag but um I have more but I'm just gonna be using this for this video and I also have a syringe this is a brand new syringe out of the pack um, this is basically to pick up the lip gloss from the bowl and place it into the lip gloss tubes I also have lip gloss tubes that has a top and like a piece that goes in the tube so you can be able to apply the lip gloss onto your lips I have a syringe, I mean not a syringe, a pipette. The pipette is gonna be placed um, on the syringe so it could be easier to put the lip gloss in the tube. And I also have um, coconut oil. I got this coconut oil from Amazon. I think it was $6. It looks a little, um, you know, yellowish because I had to melt it. And then I also have grapeseed oil this grapeseed oil and coconut oil will be the oils i use for my lip gloss base and then i also have two flavoring oils cherry and watermelon but i put a poll on my instagram and a lot of you guys was picking watermelon so oh and as well as a mixing tool i have a spoon that i will be using to mix all of my products i did forget to um bring the scissors down because you do need to cut this piece off of your pipette this piece right here so it could be able to fit on your syringe you guys so make sure you if you are making lip gloss as well make sure you just have some scissors around so you can be able to you know cut that off so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open our lip gloss base and pour I'm just going to pour a little bit into the bowl that's okay okay that should be enough wait hold just a little bit more <laughs> that should be enough for three because I have three tubes you guys so that should definitely be enough for three tubes um I did want to mention that a lot of people question that I that I use um glass bowls um, I use this so I can reuse them instead of keep buying, um, you know, the plastic. But I do want to start using plastic bowls so it can save me time so I don't got to keep cleaning them out. But yeah, um, I'm going to take a pipette and grab some grapeseed oil. Some grapeseed oil and just put that in the lip gloss. I'm not going to use a lot of grapeseed oil because I want my lip gloss to be clear. I don't want it to have any type of tint. Um, the coconut oil can definitely give it just a little tint, but not a really like deep tint to where though it doesn't look clear. This looks like a little bit. It is a little bit. I might add a little bit more lip gloss base. Okay. And then I'm gonna open up my coconut oil and then I'm just gonna apply some of my coconut oil into the lip gloss base. Um, if you do make lip gloss, I prefer you guys to definitely um, add oil as you go because you might try to estimate how much it needs and make the lip gloss too watery and we do not wanna make our lip gloss watery. Simply because a lot of people don't like watery lip gloss. And if it is watery, then it'll be considered a lip oil instead of a lip gloss. But I do like my consistency of my lip gloss to be just a little thin, but not too thin. I added two more squirts of coconut oil. I wanted to be able to like, see how it just, it falls so fast. I wanted to be able to like ooze down the spoon, if that's a good explanation. <laughs> See how it's 
see how it's like still in chunks. I don't like that. I like it to be very thin, but not like oily thin. And as well as it being thin, I like it to be thin because um, I don't like using a spoon and scooping my base into my syringe. I like to squirt it up. So that is another reason why I prefer my lip gloss not to be too thin, but thin enough. And you'll notice that the lip gloss will be too thin when you really don't see a lot of bubbles. That is because it is so thin, it don't have any air pockets. I'm adding some more coconut oil. Like I said, add oil as you go. Do not just add a whole bunch thinking you know what you're doing. Unless you actually have a measurement, like if you make lip gloss all the time and you make your own measurements, but I don't typically make my own measurements. I just go as I make. Okay, I feel like it's getting there. I'm just going to add just a little bit more because I do have to add my essential oil, which is the watermelon. So I'm being kind of careful not to add too much oil at this point. Okay, now let's see. Okay, I feel like that's. Perfect. Now what we're gonna do is I have this watermelon um, flavoring oil. It's it's a flea, it's a flavoring oil, so it's not an essential oil. So I don't typically try to eat my lip gloss, but it's ooh, that's really red. I think that's gonna give off a tint because I really never used this watermelon flavor before. Oh man. I did not expect that, you guys, but it made my lip gloss. <laughs> it gave my lip gloss a tint. Ooh. I'm so mad because I really wanted to make clear lip gloss. Well, it is. It's still clear, you guys. It is still clear, but it just have a tint now, so. I also had some flavoring oils that I didn't have um, a tint in, like far as it's being clear, but I ran out. But these flavoring oils that I showed you guys are really good flavoring oils. Okay, now that we have our lip gloss established, I wanna, you know, hit that. So it can all come off. I don't want to scoop it with my finger because I don't want too much. Um, I don't want too much lip gloss on my fingers. Okay, so this is my syringe. This is a 60 milliliter um, syringe. So what I like to do is I like to pull it. Oh no 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 no! I like to pull it up because I want to get all the air out of it. Because sometimes it could be hard for you to pull it up. If, you're, if it's brand new because it still has air. And then what I like to do is I like to move all of my lip gloss to one direction of the bowl. Because this is a little bit of lip gloss so we have to make sure that we are able to get as much lip gloss as we can. And then I'm gonna hurry up and place it down and try to scoop up as much as I can. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it slow because if you do it fast, you're gonna suck up a lot of air. And we don't wanna suck up a lot of air. Because then, we won't be able to get as much lip gloss as we want. When I suck up air, I try to push it out and then go back into the base. See how I'm pushing it out and then go back into the base. And then I just go really slow around the bowl. And there we have it. We have our lip gloss base inside of the lip gloss tube. Okay, so what I like to do 
is I like to take a napkin. I don't know if you guys can see my napkins from there, but I like to wipe off the end of the syringe because we have to add the pipette. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a brand new pipette and cut this piece off right here so it could be able to fit on. I try to cut it somewhere down here because this is, is like, it's getting smaller so it'll be able to fit very tight on my um, pipette. I mean on my syringe. So I had to use a knife, so I cut my so, um, my pipette. You don't wanna cut it too short because if you cut it too short, you will definitely not be able to fit um, the syringe into the bottom of the tube. And what I mean by that is, I mean, I'm gonna move this bowl. So okay, we have our tube and you see how it fits at the bottom. You don't wanna cut it too short because it will definitely not be able to fit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna push our lip gloss base. See, that's why I don't um, recommend you to scoop the lip gloss up too fast. I mean, to pull it up too fast in the syringe because you will definitely get a lot of air pockets. I'm sorry you guys, I'm shaking because I'm really trying to, ah, I'm really trying to squeeze this leg wall space. Okay. And there we have it, um, a watermelon pink tinted lip gloss. I did not think it would be tinted, but that's what we got. I feel like that's why you probably will have to, um, that's probably why you will have to test your products out before you actually use them because like I said, I swear I did not know it will be pink. I have a little air bubble right there, maybe because I should have felt it up just a little bit more, but um, I have a little bit left. I'm not for sure if it's gonna be able to fill this tube up, but we're gonna see. Make sure you get in all of the corners, like here and like, you know, so you can be able to fill the whole tube up instead of leaving a lot of air pockets. Okay. I was able to fill it here. I'm gonna lean it up here. And I'm going to get just a little bit more of the gloss. But that will be it for this video, you guys. I don't want to make this video too long. But this is simply just how you make clear lip gloss. Um, like I said, the watermelon did have color to it. So it kind of tinted the lip gloss. But it's still cute to me. So I like it. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Comment, subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video.